In this short video, we're going to walk through changing the burrs on your Forte from the flat ceramic burrs to the flat steel burrs, as well as adjusting calibration of the grinder. Before we get started, unplug your coffee grinder, and then we'll grab a couple of simple tools and we can get to it. To change the burrs on your Forte or your Vario, you're going to need a couple of simple tools. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver size number two, a pair of needle nose pliers or something equivalent, a rag or plastic bristle brush for cleaning out the inside of the grinder. Of course, you'll need your new burrs that you will be installing, as well as the two tools that came with the grinder, the calibration tool, which is a two millimeter hex wrench, and the burr removal tool. Okay, after unplugging your coffee grinder, because we only want to grind coffee beans, we can go ahead and remove the hopper by rotating it counterclockwise until it lifts off. We can go ahead and set that on the side. I'm also going to remove the grounds bin. Now we're going to remove the upper burr. To do so, you're going to need the tool that came with your grinder. Go ahead and set it on the burr. And you can note there's a lock and unlock position with directional arrows. Go ahead and rotate it in the unlock position direction. Generally, it's going to take significant force because grinding of the coffee tightens your upper burr. Once it's broken free with the tool, you can simply use your fingers to unscrew it the rest of the way. After removing the upper burr carrier, we can go ahead and remove the lower burr. There's three number two flathead screws that hold it in position. Go ahead and get your flathead screwdriver. Back these three screws all the way out. One. Two. Three. Be careful not to let your screwdriver slip and chip the ceramic burr while you're removing the screws. Once all three are adequately loosened, grab your needle nose pliers and pluck out the three screws. Take care to keep these screws separate from the screws for the metal burrs as they are different. kind of like operation. And then we can go ahead and gently grab the ceramic burr, give it a little bit of a wiggle, remove it. You're going to want to clean out the coffee dirt in there with a vacuum cleaner or a brush and then we can go ahead and install the steel burr. Take care to fully clean out the threaded grooves for the upper burr so that it installs smoothly when we get to the end of the process. The upper burr is even easier to change than the lower burr. Same thing, three flathead screws. Get your flathead screwdriver, take them out. Once again, take care not to chip your ceramic burr. Once your three screws are all the way loosened, you can simply flip it over. My three screws came out, hit the burr against your hand. Sometimes it doesn't want to come out. Just try, keep trying. You can see it's almost out, now I can grab it and clean it. After it's shiny clean, we can go ahead and install the new metal burr. Once again, drop it into position and rotate the metal burr until you see the three threaded screw holes appear. Let me reiterate that these have bigger heads compared to the old ceramic screws. Once all three screws have been threaded, we can go ahead and do our torque sequence. One, two, three. 
Once all your screws are tightened down, we can install the upper burr carrier back into the grinder. Go ahead and grab one of your new steel burrs, set it in position, and you're going to want to spin it until the three threaded holes are visible. Next, you want to grab the new screws that came with your steel burrs. They have a little bit bigger of a head on them than compared to the old screws for the ceramic burrs. Go ahead and set your three screws in position. And go ahead and then tighten them down. Get each screw started threading. I have all three screws begin to thread in. Now I will tighten them up. You'll see I'm holding the assembly from rotating with my hand. This is why we want to make sure it's unplugged while I torque on it with the screwdriver. Now we're going to install the upper burr carrier into the grinder. Grab your upper burr carrier and set it in position. Do not use the burr removal tool to install the burr. It must be installed with your fingers up to finger tight. The burr chamber is a left hand thread, meaning that you turn it counterclockwise to tighten it. If for any reason it does not smoothly screw into position, simply go clockwise, which will level out the burr, and then go back to counterclockwise until it does smoothly start. This is why we cleaned out those grooves very thoroughly to make sure that it goes in happy. Once you have it, you saw there I went finger tight. Now we get to use the burr tool. And we don't need to tighten it very much, just a little bit extra. The reason for that is when the grinder is running and grinding beans, the rotation of the burrs is actually in the tightening direction for the upper burr carrier. That just means that when you run the grinder, it's going to tighten the upper burr for you. When you're calibrating, and especially when you're removing the calibration tool from the grinder, take care not to pull down so briskly that you hit the load cell platform. Put your hopper on the top and rotate it clockwise into position. Once the hopper is installed, we can go ahead and plug the grinder in. The grinder will go through the boot up cycle. Next, you need to grab your calibration tool that came with the grinder. The calibration tool is simply a two millimeter hex wrench. The calibration tool goes into a small round hole directly behind the coffee discharge chute. Go ahead and fit it in there. You can tell when it goes into the screw. And the first thing we're going to do is adjust it coarser. The tool has the finer with the arrow pointed on it. Go ahead and rotate it the opposite direction as that for a coarser grind. Optimal calibration for the grinder will be with the burrs beginning to touch at a setting of 2Q. I did not hear any change in sound, which tells me that I need to tighten the calibration screw to a finer setting. So we're going to go ahead and set it up to 2Q. And now what I'm going to do is use the tool to tighten the calibration screw by turning the tool in the direction of the finer arrow until I hear the noise begin to change. I'm going to do this with the grinder running. Time, manual, start. When calibrating your grinder, it needs to be on a flat level surface. Do not tip the grinder during calibration and do not turn the grinder upside down.
You can hear that light scraping sound. That means the burgers are just beginning to touch each other. And you can see that is at the setting of 2Q, which is where we want to calibrate it. If you wish to calibrate the grinder coarser, the procedure is the same, but you turn the tool in the opposite direction of the fine arrow. I hope you all had as much fun watching this video as I had making it. If you have any questions or concerns, check out our website, baratza.com. We have a good troubleshooting section on there or drop us a line at support at